types. Let us see. We are going with the applications of uh, yes, uh, refraction and plane surfaces. Okay, right. Now you see, uh, this is one of the applications. A portion of a straight line graph, glass rod of diameter four centimeter. Its diameter is what? Four centimeter. This diameter. Okay, clear. And refract to index. 1.5 is bent into an arc of radius capital centimeter and a parallel beam of light is incident on it as shown in the figure. Find the smallest arc for which uh, which permits all the light to pass around the arc. Around the arc means the same pattern should be here at the ending. Same pattern. Okay? Is it clear? Now, let us go with this application now. Clear? You understood? This is radius r. Okay. The diameter of this is what? 4. Sure. Now coming to the point here. Such type of questions. Sir. Huh? First he is asking to find the minimum r. Minimum r? Yes or no? Find the smallest r. Which permits? Smallest r means what? If r is smallest, curvature will be? For R small, this is R large. This is R large. Curvature is less. R small. Curvature is small. So that's what he is asking. The maximum bend we can give. Indirectly he is asking the maximum bend we can give. Okay? So that the light will what? What the light permits all the light to pass through the arc. As it is, it should pass. Okay? What the point? That is the question. Let us go for that. Okay? Now, this is the arc we have. This is the radius. Okay? I will give you a magnified figure of course. You will understand easily. You see where? Now, its diameter is 4 cm. What is this total? R. That is R. You are able to understand. Now, light J is passing like this. And the outcome should be like this. Yes or no? That is a condition. And what is the minimum value of R for this to occur? He is asking. Clear? Means the light to pass through this. Okay? Clear. It should take place. How it should be? What should take place inside this? Total internal angle. It should not go out of this tube. Means the ray which travels from denser to rarer, it should get reflected back into the same. Area. This is a condition is asking. Okay? So these are the applications. Now, let us go for the top ray. It is incident here. This is the normal or not? This is the normal. You should go for next ray. This is the normal or not? Next ray. This is the normal. Okay, next ray. This is the normal. Angle of incidence going on decreasing or increasing? Angle of incidence Decreasing. from top ray to bottom ray. Decreasing. And this is the bottom ray, last ray. And this is the smallest angle. Smallest angle. Okay, let us take this as a okay. This position as theta. What nana? Theta. Okay. So now what happens to this? This is 90 in this triangle. Okay. This will become 90 minus theta. Now, out of all the rays, what is the minimum angle of incidence? This minimum angle of incidence should be greater than critical angle. If this is greater than critical angle, obviously all these angles will be greater than critical angle. 
means condition is satisfied by this means. Obviously, condition will be satisfied by Okay? Got the point? Is it clear or not? So, this is the condition. So, this is the smallest out of uh, all the angles of instance. It should be greater than critical angle. Clear? Is it clear or not? Suppose a number x is there. 2 is greater than x. Condition. Obviously, 3 also will be greater than x. 4 also will be greater than x. Clear? Out of all the angles of instance, this is smaller. And if this smaller is also greater than critical angle, then total internal reflection will take place for each and every ray. Have you observed? Is it clear or not? Then what happens here? This is the reflected ray. This is the reflected ray for this. This is the reflected ray for this. This is the reflected ray. Now you are able to understand the pattern. Is it clear? So this 90 minus theta should be greater than or equal to what we have? Critical angle of these two interfaces for these two medium, pair of medium. Okay? So what we have is okay, uh, this is what I'm taking. Yes? What is asking to find? Minimum value of R. Okay? This is what? What is this? R. This is R. This is also R. What is this? R minus 4. Okay. I am taking the sign on both sides. What do you will get? Cos theta is greater than or equal to sin C. Sin C is nothing but 1 upon mu. Okay. Cos theta from this triangle is what? Adjacent side upon hypotenuse. Adjacent is what? Mu is how much he gave? 3 upon 2. So what you will get? R minus 4 upon R is greater than or equal to 2 upon 3. Then what you are going to get here? 3R minus 2L is greater than or equal to 2R. So R is greater than or equal to 2L centimeter. So what should be the minimum value of R? So that the light ray will bend through this curve. You understood this concept? Sure? Okay. Is it clear or not? We concluded that. Let us see once. Let us see that. Okay. You see that. A portion of a straight glass rod of diameter 4 cm and refractive index 1.5 is bent into an arc of radius r cm. And a parallel beam of light is instant. You see this is parallel beam. Okay. On it. Find the smallest r which permits all the light to pass through the arc. So our condition satisfied or not? Yes.